after having a lot of problems with my throat, I eventually went to the hospital and was bleeding one day in the emergency room. And a week later, I got out of the hospital after 10 days of being basically unconscious and drugged and told I had cancer. They wanted to remove my larynx, which I refused to have them do, and they gave me four months to live. I went through 42 radiation and three chemotherapies, which was ended in about March of 07. And in May of 09, after a PET scan, they told me my cancer was gone. And again, in, in, uh, in May of 08, the same story as it is all along up until this time, almost three and a half years later. People said I was in denial, but I just accepted that I had the cancer, and it was really not any pain or any illness during any chemo. I was very lucky, or even during the radiation. I guess I told my brother it was just like a sunburn when I was getting the radiation. And uh, my only problem during the whole thing was congestion. I still have a trach tube, which perhaps uh, I may lose, but it takes some time for the radiation uh, uh, cause swelling in your throat to go down, uh, but in addition to that, there's also scarring, so I may have it for life, but I'm alive, and uh, I've met a lot of people since then, and I'm having a lot of fun, I'm back to, I'm back to doing a lot of things I wasn't doing, and uh, as far as it, my brother says, it's attitude, and all the doctors are amazed I'm around, so I don't know what else I can tell you. Christopher, I'm glad to see you're doing well. My chemical oncologist, Dr. High, he always asked me, am I smoking? And I said, no, I'm not smoking. And he'd tell me a story about this guy who was at the throat cancer, similar to mine, about the same time, but in a different spot in his throat. And he's continued to smoke. And uh, he said uh, that it's a shame because he, with the radiation they were able to make the cancer retreat, but continuing to smoke, all they can do now is control it, it's come back. And I didn't understand the whole thing. It's something, I guess, like tuberculosis, we all have it, but something brings it out. And evidently smoking, if you've had cancer in that area, it smoke, smoking again will be like a catalyst to bring that cancer back. And they can't do radiation again because they've done so much damage already to that area that the only thing they can use is chemo and only as only hopefully to control it and it's just chemo won't do anymore to control it radiation i guess is the only thing that will eradicate it or put it completely in remission and this week he mentioned the guy's name joe i should have connected the dots but there in the paper was joe 51 years of age died of cancer an old friend of mine and I had seen him once in a different department of the hospital for the radiation. And uh, that was the guy who continued smoking in 51 years of age. A very vibrant guy. Gone. Gone. What a shame. For three or four weeks. And I said to, said to my brother, I said, I'd take the cancer over the pneumonia. For three weeks, I spit up blood. Oh, it was horrible. And, uh, and uh, the cancer is it's really nothing. It's just something that we don't understand and we're all scared to death of it. And uh, it's like anything you let go, and I had let it go, you know, with smoking, continued smoking, and the sore throats and everything like that. It became a, a killer, almost killed me. But, uh, but luck of God and uh, the good doctor that I had, and they tell me the attitude I had, we got it. We captured it.